Okay, uh, good morning and Assalamualaikum. So, we are from uh, Nestle Group. So, firstly, I will introduce my group members. So, uh, my name is Alif Hakimi bin Asmadi. And then, uh, Muhammad Ayman bin Hashim. There's no Hairi bin Azizan. Muhammad Ayman Nur Hakim bin Nur, Nur Jorizwan. And then, Afaf Nur Atika bin Tiriza. And lastly, Nurul Ana Shahira binti Nur Ekmal. So, without any further ado, uh, I will talk about the history of Nestle. So Nestle is a Swiss multinational uh, food and beverages company founded in uh, 1866 by Henry Nestle. So the original product was an infant food uh, designed to uh, provide source of nutrition for babies who could not breastfeed. And then in 1905, uh, Nestle merged with uh, Anglo-Swiss condensed milk company and they become uh, Nestle and Anglo-Swiss milk company. So, uh, throughout uh, the 20th of century, uh, Nestle expanded its product uh, line to include a wide range of food uh, and beverages product. So, the, the product include uh, chocolate, uh, coffee, uh, bottled water, and also pet food during it, uh, at, that, at that particular time. And then, uh, Nestle started to expand its uh, operation globally by uh, establishing uh, subsidiaries and partnership in countries all over the world. So today, uh, Nestle is one of the largest uh, food and beverages company in the world, with uh, operation in over 190 uh, countries, and has a diverse uh, product portfolio, which includes brands uh, such as Kit Nescafe, Purina, Starbucks Coffee also, Milo, Maggi, etc. So that's a little bit of Nestle history. So, the next uh, slide will be presented by this Novi. Okay, thank you very much, Alif, uh, for your thorough explanation on history. So, we will now handle about uh, Nestle's vision and mission. So, what is vision? Vision is basically what the company wants to become uh, and explain their business activities or what they're doing. So, for Nestle's case, uh, their vision is, their, our purpose is to unlock the power of food to enhance quality of life for everyone today and for generations to come. So next we have mission. So what is mission? Uh, mission reveals what an organization wants to be and a home it wants to serve. A proper mission statement is important as it gives a good impression on gives a good impression to the stakeholders. Uh, so, how do we know if a mission is good for a company? The most important part is uh, mission statement components. So, for Nestle's mission, we have Nestle is the world's leading nutrition, health and wellness company. Our mission of good food, good life is to provide consumers with best tasting, most nutrition, nutritious choices in a wide range of food and beverage categories and eating occasions from morning to night. So the uh, mission, sta mission statement components are as follow. Number two, product or services. Number three, markets. Six, philosophy. And eight, public images. So uh, for now, what Nestle is lacking in their mission statement components are number one, customers. Number four, technology. Number five, survival growth and profitability. Uh, seven, distinctive competence. And number nine, employees. So that is all for vision and mission. I will now give uh, the presentation to our next presenter, Ayman. So hello guys, I will continue with to the organizational uh, culture and value. So. For the first value that we want to bring in Nestle is self-respect. So self-respect is about equal opportunity for all employees. It's actually in believing in promote the equal opportunity for all employees and also want to bring different perspective and experience and also want to create the inclusive work environment. So the next one is a respect other. Respect other is about Nestle promise to their customer, worker and 
also their supply chain is about the quality in Nestle. Nestle want to embrace the culture of the continuous uh, learning and development. It's also pra practice CSV, create share value, that power of the food to enhance quality life for everyone. Nestle also want to benefit everyone that includes stakeholder, farmer, customer and also employees. So the third one is diversity. It's about the innovation and entrepreneurial spirit. It's about respect, empowered to experiment and to learn from the failure and to encourage their employees to step outside their comfort zone and the, the togetherness or the teamwork in their culture. And the last one is a to think future. It's about the promoting uh, res uh, responsible sourcing and improving the livelihood of farmer and rural community and also about a planet through, the, through their supply chain. So I will pass it to the next presenter. So uh, for my part, I will present for the goals and subject uh, and objective for Nestle. So as we all know that Nestle Malaysia is a subsidi subsidiary of Nestle and the world largest food and beverage company. And the company's goal and objectives are aligned with its overall mission of enhancing quality of life and contributing to a healthier future. So some of the specific goals and objectives of the Nestle is, are this. And for the first part is offering high quality and nutritious product. Nestle Malaysia aims to provide cons consumer with food and beverage products that are not only delicious, but also nutritious and safe for the consumption. So next, ensuring sustainability which is the Nestle Malaysia is committed to a sustainability product product, I'm sorry, a sustainability business practice, including responsibility sourcing of raw materials, reducing its environmental impact and promoting social and economic development in the communities where it operates. Next, driving growth. For driving growth, Nestle Malaysia aims to achieve sustainability and prof profitable growth by investing in its brands, innovation, and digital capability. For next, empowering its people. Uh, empowering, empowering its people, Nestle Malaysia recognizes that its employees are its most important asset and is committed to providing a safe and inclusive workplace that enables its people to develop and thrive. Try. Uh, next, uh, and the last part is building strong partnership. Building strong partnership, Nestle Malaysia aims to build strong partnership with its suppliers, costume, customers, and stakeholders based on the based on its mutual mutual trust, respect, and shared values. Overall, Nestle, Nestle Malaysia's goals and objectives are focused on delivering value to its takeable and uh, stakeholder with, while making a positive contribution to society and the environment. Next, I will pass the next component, uh, component to Ayman Nohakib. Okay, so uh, now I will be presenting about one of the most important elements of Nestle, which is the logo, as you guys know. The Nestle logo is what makes it famous and also what makes it recognizable for many households. So uh, this is the Nestle logo, the latest one. So the initial Nestle trademark was created by Henry Nestle. Uh, the Nestle logo has undergone several um, modifications and changes throughout the years from the 18th century until now. So let's have a look uh, throughout the evolution of the logo. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, the very first uh, Nestle logo. So this is the first one. So the family coat of arms served as the inspiration of Henry Nestle's first trademark. The depiction of a bird on a nest alludes to the family name which in German means nest. 
So the new business logo was created by Henry Nestle with inspiration from his coat of arms. Three newly born chicks or baby chickens are being fed by their mother as, as he adds them to the nest. So now Nestle letters and logos are blended to form a brand symbol. This serves as the common identifying symbol for Nestle brands all over the world. So in the honor of the 100 year anniversary of Nestle's firm, uh, a unified trademark has been developed. It has an updated picture and a fresh typeface. Next. So as we progress throughout the century, the, as you can see, the Nestle logo has been more improvised and be more minimalistic. So using the Nestle trademark, product categories can be easily identified. The representation of logo currently serves as the business strategic umbrella trademark. So the Nestle logo has been modified and made more minimalistic so in order to adapt with the modernization of the world. So the logo's design has been softened and simplified to adapt on digital devices like tablets and smartphones. And lastly, the Nestle logo was modified from grey to oak brown in 2018. So this is the latest logo as for now. Uh, this increased the logo's warmth and more accurately mirrored the hue of the three limbs. So the latest logo basically gives a more minimalistic and modern, modernized look and the color gives out a more warmth and representation of the Nestle company. So next I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. I will present about the board of director from Nestle. The first one is Yang Ahmad Mulia, Tan Sri Datuk Seri Syed Anwar Jamal Ibai, the non-independent non executive director, chairman of the board of director, the chairman of the governance, nomination and conversation committee, member of the audit committee. Next one is Chin Kwai Fat, the chairman of the audit committee. The third one is Datuk Hamidah Nadia Din, the member of the Governance, Nomination and Conversation Committee and then Datin Sri Azdin Arshad, the member of the Audit Committee and then Yang Mulia Dr. Tunku Adina Raja Muhammad Alias, member of the Governance, Nomination and Conversation Committee and the CEO of Nestle, Juan Aranals, Executive Director as for the Alternate Director of Nestle is Alexandro Monica and then Syed Saiful Islam Executive Director, Chief Financial Officer. And the last one is Tengku Ida Adura Tengku Ismail, the Company Secretary of Nestle. That is all from our group. Thank you.